So, we've established that the oscillators on the Analog Solutions Nyborg 12 are rich, gorgeous, fat, and fantastic, even without a filter. However, luckily, the filter is a great filter in addition to the oscillators being great oscillators. We have a 12 decibel per octave multi-mode filter on this thing. Now, some people have this weird sense. I, I've seen people say, oh, multi-mode filters, 12 decibel per octave, they sound thin. And it drives me crazy because actually multi-mode filters have the ability uh, to emphasize bass frequencies, which uh, low-pass filters simply do not. Multi-mode filters can give you a, a greater bass sound than a low pass filter. And uh, so I'm always happy to see them. Now, granted, low pass filters sound great. There's no doubt about it. And certainly the 24 decibel per octave slope also sounds great. But multi mode filters have a much greater synthesis application to them than the single 24 decibel per octave low pass filter. There's so much more you can do, so many different timbres you can get. They're really more powerful. So what we're going to do here is we've got four filters to get through and I want to show you what effect the cutoff has on each of those filters, what effect the resonance has on each of those filters and how they work in tandem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sequence and then I'm just going to show you what each of these filters sounds like when you cut off the frequencies and when you add resonance to them. So here we go. Here's the sequence. We'll start off with low pass. Now granted, that's turned all the way down and we can still hear it. That's because the 12 decibel per octave filter slope is a less extreme slope. So we're still hearing some frequencies uh, left over. Doesn't matter, who cares? Okay. There is a really awesome low end in this filter that is playing off the really awesome low end in the oscillators. Let's hear it with some resonance. asking yourself, what the heck is this thing doing? It's a different sound. It's really, it doesn't sound like resonance normally sounds, but we're going to get to why you have this here in a second. Okay, some of this doesn't have a huge effect. you self oscillation in a 12 decibel per octave filter not too many uh multi-mode 12 decibel per octave filters have uh self oscillation so this function was added to give that function to this type of filter 
And of course, having filter self-oscillation gives you the opportunity to have a lot of really crazy effects um, when you add modulation. But that's what the boost is doing. Okay, let's have a listen to the high, uh, the bandpass filter. Now, as you remember, a bandpass is a combination of a low pass and a high pass that makes a hump in the middle that you can move around, and that's what we're doing. has a really fo frothy, foamy sound. Let's hear what the boost does. Kind of, uh, the boost makes a lot of the resonance sort of muffled and dark, but when you have it all the way up, that's where you get the self-oscillation. Which is a pretty great sound. Okay, let's listen to the high pass. Now the high pass is one of my favorites on a multi-mode filter because you can really create some heavy low end by using resonance and high pass. Let's just listen to it without resonance first. High pass allows you to make really thin, tinny, exciting sounds. But this thing, listen, it doesn't really ever, it's narrow, but not thin, if, if you can dig my vague adjectives. It's still punchy and rich. Let's add some resonance. That's a really great sound. like this synth needs it but some synths don't have a big low end when they have a multi-mode filter but this one does and you're em you're emphasizing it so it gets pretty crazy okay and now the notch which is one of my favorites on this synthesizer it's really awesome what the notch is doing is the opposite of the band pass it's uh, allowing frequencies in the bass and the treble, but cutting out the frequencies in the middle. And you're moving that band of frequencies that are cut out uh, through the range. Which makes for a lot of interesting sounds. Now, what's cool about this is you have the ability also to adjust the notch width. which gives you a huge amount of timbres. And remember, I'm sweeping this back and forth, but you don't have to. You can step on any of these timbres and have a unique sound. So 
Some of these sound even like the Nova chord for me. We haven't even turned on resonance yet. So the notch is where there is just a gold mine of different timbres, and it also sounds really cool being swept. emphasis, you can get mid-range emphasis. And then with the resonance all the way up. Okay, enough of that sequence. You're probably sick to death of it. Anyway, so as you can see with these four different filter types, you have so many opportunities. And this whole time, we've only been listening to one oscillator. Uh, of course, I mean, to really give the depth of this filter, I should do each, uh, each oscillator's wave shape, both oscillators together on a certain wave shape, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you could go on and on. There's just so much. With the different wave shapes, the pulse width, um, uh, there's, there's just, <laughs> it's a tremendous amount of possibility. great big gorgeous analog richness exists between these incredibly rich oscillators and this incredibly rich multi-mode filter it's madness it could go on and on even before we've even gotten to modulation and of course you could be doing this stuff with noise too And you can tell right away, as far as creating analog rhythm sounds, this notch filter is fantastic. And I mean, all of the different aspects are. There's some great snare noises happening here. Good old low pass sounds kind of sad compared to some of the cool things that can happen with notch and band pass. And let's hear what the boost does to this. So you get the self oscillation in there. So you get actual pitches happening.
So yeah, you have the resonance boost to aid in your various uh, noise applications as well. And of course the sub, which is just a square wave.